Animal Crew. <laughs> this video is going to be about our son, Oscar, a.k.a. Tony. That's what we call him. If you haven't already seen our introduction to our children, go ahead and watch our other video called our kids intro. Okay, so I'm going to start from the beginning. I was about 16, 17 when I met um, Tony's biological father. We met in high school. We met at Moreno Valley High School. Some of you may know him. Some of you may know of the school. Um, he was around the same age. He's not too much younger than me. He is younger than me, but like two weeks or something. So we both went to the same school, you know. Um, I thought everything like was great. Like I thought I was in love. I was a kid, you know, I was stupid. I thought I was in love. Like there was nobody could tell me anything about him. Nobody could do anything to change my mind. Like I just thought like that was it. Like we were going to be together forever and everything. So I ended up getting pregnant and I didn't know. I found out May 31st of 2011 and I ended up graduating June. I believe it was 9th, June 9th of 2011. So I was pregnant when I, when I graduated and um, I was already showing you know, I wasn't even trying to hide it because my son, he wasn't a mistake. I planned him. Yes, I was 18 trying to plan a pregnancy. Yeah, that's how in love I thought I was. That's how I thought we were going to be together forever. That I was trying to plan my pregnancy and my life and my marriage and everything. So I ended up graduating. Um, and to be honest, like our relationship, it escalated really quickly. It started off really bad, like really bad. I found out while we were in school, I found out that he had cheated on me like three times. I found out that he was like talking to other people, other girls, you know, he was aggressive. He was very, he belittled me all the time. He made me feel very low, very ugly, very disgusting. Um, and I had not told my parents that I was pregnant so one day we got into a big fight and he wanted me to go like see the fireworks with him but i didn't want to and i didn't ask because i was like scared i don't know so he ends up leaving and i follow him because i didn't want him to leave and we're down we're walking down the street from my house and um that was the day july 4th 2011 was the day that he had physically hurt me he had put his hands on me and he hurt me to the point where I thought I was gonna lose my life that day to the point where I thought I was gonna lose my son I didn't know I was having a boy I didn't know yet but I thought I was gonna lose my baby um, talking about this I can still feel it I can still remember it as if it was yesterday and I'm not gonna go into detail as to how he hurt me or what exactly he did to hurt me but just know that the next day I could not move the next day my sister came to wake me up um, because my dad was calling me. Mind you, we had told my parents the day before that night. We told them that I was pregnant. I told them that I was pregnant that night. And they just said we were going to talk. So the next morning when my sister came to wake me up, my little sister, I couldn't move. I felt like I was paralyzed, but in a painful paralyzed way. I have no idea, but it was very painful. My, like when you called me, instead of me like turning my neck like this, like I literally had to just turn my whole body to look at you. 
my neck hurt like all right here it was just in pain um my back my head i felt like my head was gonna explode i was skinnier so i my bones would like pop out on my back and you could see like bruises all along my bones and as a matter of fact to this day i have um inflammation in my tailbone and doctors cannot figure out why they just know that it was trauma to my tailbone and um so they asked if I was in any type of trauma or anything. Have I ever been hit in an accident or anything? And I told them, yes, I was actually, um, Tony's dad actually kicked me in my back when I was pregnant. Um, you know, we went through a lot. It was a long, very long two years. He was constantly hitting me. He was so jealous. Um, very jealous. Like I had to go to the, when we would go to the store, I literally had to just look down the whole time because if he felt like I was looking at someone or looking if I just looked in the direction of another man like he would flip and I we would get home and I would take a beating or a slap to the face or a hair pull or and I remember one time he tried to burn me alive in my room he locked me in my room and tried to burn me alive in my own room you know, he would throw things at me. He would call me names. If we were fighting and we were like out in the streets, he would draw all the attention to me and he would have people look at us and he would call me all kinds of names and he would call me like very, you know, dirty names. And, you know, mind you, I was pregnant through most of the most of this. And he would like push me I remember I slid like knees first stomach like everything I've completely he just pushed me like in the concrete and there was another time where he com I was on the bed like on my knees and he pulled me from my shirt and I felt like belly first you know like <sighs> what I went through I would Never, not even on my worst enemy, if I had enemies, I would never wish what I went through on anybody. And, you know, I don't have any hate for him anymore. It's rem it's remorse. I'm, I feel sorry for him. And, but at the same time, I'm thankful just because... It was a lesson learned um, and if anybody knows me now they know that I don't take crap from anybody they know that that's something that happened in my past and I'm stronger for it now I don't have any anger towards him from myself but when it comes to my son I do just because right now we're going through uh, like a, a court back and forth and you know he doesn't want to see my son he's told me flat out like I'm not ready and if you knew Tony, you would. You would understand my frustration. <sighs> Tony is. the most amazing kid you will ever meet. And my frustration is that, why wouldn't you wanna be a part of his life? Why wouldn't you wanna see how he's doing or see him or, you know, cause the last time he saw him, he was what, like six months because I left. We got into this big fight and he called me all kinds of names and I had it, I, I left and that was, May of 2012 I left and I never looked back and I never went back and that was a day that I told myself like I'm done I'm done with this and I'm not going back and I need to do this for myself and I need to do this for my son and make a better life for us because that's not a life that I want my son to be a part of but I look back and I'm just like why like I don't understand why like what did I do or was I that was I
you know, six, seven years later, I still don't understand how someone could just leave their child or how someone could hurt the mother of their child, you know, and But I do get a lot of questions as to why I'm no longer with him, as to why we're no longer together, and you know, and why uh, um, Malcolm isn't his real dad, and that's why it's because I I needed to leave. We needed to leave. We needed to find a better life for ourselves, and we needed to find. I needed to do what I had to do for my son, because if not, who's who's to tell where where we'd be what we'd be doing, you know, and before my son could realize anything, I had to take him out of there. And if anybody knows me, they know that Tony saved my life. That it's because of Tony that I'm here today. Because when I was in that relationship, it was so bad that I tried to take my life. And the one person that could pull me through all of that, that could get me through it all, was my son. So, besides my dad, if you ask me who's my hero, who's the person that saved my life, that saves my life every day, it's that little boy. I can't wait for you guys to see this journey we have ahead of us so you can see why it is that Tony saved my life so you can see why it is that I'm so in love with my son and so you can see my frustration as to why wouldn't anybody want to be a part of his life because not even his grandparents from his biological father's side not even they want to be a part of his life and I've given them the chance mind you I even given his father the chance and he told me flat out I'm not ready With that being said, this is the truth of why Tony's biological father isn't in his life. But I don't want you guys to feel sorry or to cry or be sensitive to this video like I am. I want you guys to be happy because we're happy. You know, we found Malcolm and... Let's just say that Malcolm is our angel. You know, I prayed and prayed and prayed and wished and hoped and dreamed to have someone like Malcolm. And God and came and he, you know, and he came and he gave us Malcolm. And he gave Tony a dad. He didn't give Tony a father. He didn't give Tony a father figure. He didn't give me a boyfriend to step in. No, he gave Tony a dad. He gave Tony a love. His own biological father couldn't love him. So God gave him someone that could love him. God gave me someone that could love me. God gave us an angel and God gave us someone that could show us what love is someone that could show us the meaning of not having to be scared or be sad all the time you know he gave us happiness when he gave us Malcolm so don't be sad don't be sad for us because we're happy we're the happiest we could ever be because we have him because we have each other, because we have our family. But I'll go ahead and end this video here and now. If you guys want to know anything else, just message me on social media or leave it in the comments. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon uh, to turn on your post notifications every time you want to see the ammo crew. Come stop your crying, it will be alright. Just
take my 